everybody's friend It's Tyler It's your only black friend Because your best black friend I wouldn't trade him for another black friend Cause black friends are rare as you should be aware He's mopping Richard Pryor So just sit and stare It's everybody's friend It's Tyler It's everybody's friend It's Tyler Hey guys, Tyler here. A feminist group and a transgender group had got into a fight, and obviously, of course, the clip got viral. And so, without further hesitation, let's analyze that clip. Well, it's very funny to see how feminists and transgender people are just eating themselves alive in that clip. I want to provide a context for this whole entire clip because first and foremost, let's pay attention to the language that is spoken in the clip. The language that is spoken in the clip is obviously Espanol. So, Spanish was spoken, and this whole entire clip took place in Spain. Because in Spain, the other day, there were various protests across the whole entire nation by various feminists, who basically has something to do to protest against this whole entire law that was called the transgender law. And so, what exactly is this sort of transgender law that the feminists were protesting with the transgender people across the nation. Now the transgender law was proposed by Ari Moreno and the whole entire Ministry of Equality Division of Spain because of course you need to have some sort of state institutionalized feminism for Spain and it's not bad enough of course they have a whole entire freaking administration that has four women vice presidents just because you know they just want it Obviously, I'm not going to read the entire text for you guys because it's like really long But I'm gonna show you guys some sort of highlights to understand what exactly is this transgender law or the trans law in Spain that's being proposed right now Congreso de los Diputados That means like literally like the Congress of Deputies But one thing I want to say though is that you can't say Diputados without saying puta <laughs> Okay, that's a corny joke, I know, but I still wanted to say it anyway, damn it. Proporción de ley sobre la protección justicia de las personas trans y el derecho a la libre determinación de la identidad sexual y expresión de género. Basically, it's like a law proposal for like the judiciary protection for trans people and the right to self-determination for their sexual identity and expression for uh, gender, if that makes any sense. Articulo 2, numero 1. Toda persona es particular de derecho a libre determinación de la identidad sexual y expresión de género y demás derecho previsto en esta ley. Respecto a los datos registrados de las personas extranjeras, se aplicará lo previsto en la ley de registro civil. La letrización en materia de extraña, así que en la nomería de la Unión Europea, en los tratados y instrumentos internacionales vientes en España. Basically, it's saying that everyone have like, you know, self-determination to sexual identity and expression for gender, and that everyone, including like the foreign people that come to Spain, can register as a transgender person. One thing I want to say out loud is that if anybody have a right to self-identify as transgender, that does not just mean like the adults, but like any age have the right to self-identify as transgender. Like, of course, everybody knows that basically like kids don't necessarily have the brightest view of the world, any more experience, and of course everything else, to understand the role entirely. So, this idea that if somebody for some strange reason 
felt like they were transgender and they're a minor and not like, you know, 17 or 18 can go up and register to be a transgender person, that to me seems very bizarre and very strange. Artículo 33. Respecto al derecho a la identidad de género en las prácticas deportivas. Número 1. En las prácticas, eventos y competiciones deportivas, se casaría a las personas que participen atendado a su sexo registrar sin que pueden realizarse en ningún caso puertas de verificación de sexo. Basically, it's saying like uh, any sort of like sports events or events or whatever, any person can participate with their registered sex. So this whole entire thing is like an episode of South Park where basically biological females can play in male sports and biological males can play in the sort of female sports. And not just that though, I'm just curious if anybody and I do mean anybody, could just register as a male or a female or the opposite of their biological sex, is it entirely possible? I don't know, for example, if somebody was accused of rape, what if that person changed their sex at the last minute? For example, a man who does not want to go to male prison can possibly say, well, you see, I feel like a female and they start raping women in like the women prison or something like that. Or what if, for example, like, you know, a woman accused like, you know, the guy of something like, you know, I don't know, beat her up. They could possibly say, well, you see, I feel like a female. And so therefore you cannot really persecute me legally or have like harsher like punishment because I'm a female or something. That would be so crazy, man. It would be really, really crazy. So, are the feminists in the video that we just saw and the right to protest this transgender law? I guess so, but you know, huh. It's kind of sad. This whole entire thing just plays out as some sort of South Park episode. If this is really true. Now, the whole entire sports thing, we see any results from people and like the M like the MMA or something, where basically there was this one trans woman who fought against like some sort of woman, and he just beat the living crap of that woman, and so it's just so weird, really weird that some of these people advocate for like you know transgender people to play against like somebody who have like the opposite biological sex. It is just strange to me. So what do you guys think about all of this? Please tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.